Hello there, another video from me, this time about finding, trying to find an angle using the cosine rule. Okay, the question is, find the size of the largest angle. Now, if you look at a triangle, the largest angle is always opposite the largest side. So the largest angle is always opposite the angle side, so the angle that we're going to want to find is this one here, angle B. Likewise, the smallest one is always opposite the smallest side as well, so that would be that one. Okay, we need to find angle B. And we have three sides, three known sides, and we have to find an angle. For this, you cannot use the sine rule, and therefore, if you uh, just stop the video for a minute and see if you can use the uh, sine rule, um, you will you'll see that it's not possible. Okay, so use the cosine rule. Now, the cosine rule for an angle is written like this. First, you label the sides. So this is going to be A. This is going to be B and this is going to be C. We want to find the cos of B, so the cos of B is going to be A squared, the two sides, two including sides, A squared plus B side is always minus the side opposite the angle you're trying to find. So it's going to be A squared plus C squared minus B squared, and under here it's always going to be 2AC, it's going to be the first two only, not the B. Right, then substituting in the numbers, so cos B will be 8 squared, with A, plus 6 squared, which is C, and B squared, which is 12 squared, divided by 2 times 8 times 6. So, popping over to our calculator. Now, you could do this calculation on one go, but I'm just going to do, do it so you can get a few steps in. So, going to the calculator, setting calculation mode. Little check to see it's in degree mode for math studies, it should be by default, and then putting in the numbers. So you need to put in some brackets first, brackets, because it's all of the top. So it's 8 squared plus 6 squared minus 12 squared. Go outside the brackets, divided by brackets 2 times. 8 times 6, we'll close the brackets and we'll press enter and you see the calculator puts it in, in like it's supposed to be and this gives me the minus answer, the answer. Now don't worry that it's negative, okay, because there's no actual ambiguous case for the cosine rule. The angle that you get is, is the one that you that you get. So, so you're going to get minus 0 0.45833 now we need to do cos to the minus 1 of this, but we'll just pop over to our calculator again. Let's do this, we'll just do trig. Cos to the minus 1, we won't need to type this in again because all we need to do is control and answer. That puts the last answer in there and we press enter and we're going to get 117.27961. Round that off, correct to three significant figures will be 117. And there is the final screenshot of what we actually did. Okay, so there's been a video here to show you how to find the cosine rule to find an angle. And remember, in this case, there is absolutely no ambiguous case. Thank you for watching.